Let me introduce my next guest, who is Maurice Washira. Maurice is 32. He is a former Baptist Christian, uh, raised as a strong Christian, background-wise. But however, he says at the age of 16, that's when he started becoming skeptical. Please help me welcome him to the show. So, Maurice, yes. you are a former Baptist. Yeah. So, like John the Baptist, like in Isaiah, you are a former Baptist. Well, Baptist is a church. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you're 32, so obviously, mtu wakikuangalia ngano ni mtu mzima. And unasema, when you were around 16 years, that's when you started now questioning. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely everybody has, in their, in their beginning, they have uh, doubts and questions even the, the staunch of the Christians. But I think for me it was different because it was so much. Uh, my parents are strictly religious. So staunch. Yeah, and uh, it kind of suffocated me. Uh, I had to, uh, to go to study school, I had to go to, uh, in, 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 um, in school you have to do CRE. Uh, and it's, as a kid, you know you have to stay in church from morning to evening. Uh, it kind of suffocates me. and then. Uh, and then as you grow up, you get to teenage, you learn science, you read books, uh, your area doubts start being confirmed one by one. And uh, eventually you get to a stage of, do I go do I? that's what they call an, uh, agnostic, agnosticism. You, where you, do you go back, do you go back? Eventually as you acquit yourself with more information, you read books, you learn, you become a way of life, uh, you just kick the bucket and move on. So you went through the whole process similarly yeah. to Alex where you were brought up staunch believer, yeah. became agnostic, sure. and then now living as an atheist. Yeah. So no belief system whatsoever when it comes to supreme beings, deities, and all that. No. Uh, I, at, 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 at the stage of agnostic, you normally say you're not sure. But for now, I'm sure there is none. Yeah. And if you look at your personal life, so coming from that strange background, are yeah. you still in contact with your family? Have they accepted your yeah. thoughts and views? Yeah, uh, yeah my mom, my, it's only my mom who has some issues with it, and my dad. Uh, uh, since, since I left the, the church at an early age, in terms of my sisters, they already started accepting. Uh, Is there anyone else in your family who's chosen the same route as you? Uh, well, I think my young, my last born is a silent atheist. <laughs> Why do you say silent atheist? Because <laughs> he doesn't, it doesn't that he has not come out, but in terms of his argument, in terms of his actions, and his distaste for religion, it's it's obvious. But uh, uh, also, uh, apart from my family, even the place I come, it's called Kiliad, It's a very religious uh, uh, area. Area. Uh, even the school you will go to is a, is a church school. The missions, yeah, schools the missions, and yeah, and in that sense. Uh, the stigma level for, for being a non-Christian is much le higher than outside that. So that in your own community where you come from, you're stigmatized uh, because you're an open atheist. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I was stigmatized, but there are, there are some friends who are not comfortable with the idea. Uh, there are some who think I'm, I'm just, because I've been controversial in most other aspects, political, so they say, ah, this guy's just a bluffing, he's still one of us. Uh, but yeah, I lo I've lost a few friends, but... If I lose you because of religion, then that means what was connecting us, not friendship, is religion, and since I don't have it. Okay, yeah. and are you married? Not yet. I'm not that lucky in that regard. So do you feel like, again, yeah. like most of the men who came here, that it, it is a contributing factor when you meet a girl and she wants to find out about your background, your belief system? Well, I, I know quite a... I, I have not, I've, in my former relationship, I've not... It's, it's, it has not, it also depends with how you express it. Uh, there are some people who, who are like, there, there are atheists who are, I, like me, who are just don't, don't, don't practice religion. And then there are some people who are like aggressive toward uh, religion. Uh, for me, if you are Christian, if you are Muslim, if you are, if you are Jehovah Wanyonyi, it doesn't bother me. So as you would date a woman yeah. who is a believer? Uh, with terms and conditions. Which terms and conditions? <laughs> because a woman let us know his terms and conditions. One, the kids are his, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. As long as, as long as, uh, as long as you, you you understand, you're not gonna force the kids to to go. You, we're gonna teach kids the religion, but not in the uh, not in the respect that is taught currently. You, you're not going to teach kids uh, Christianity or Islam. You're going to teach 
all religions for them. And then you're going to give them the chance to make a, a choice when they grow up. Uh, so if you want to go with them to church, uh, as long as you don't force them into those, uh, uh, you know, there are some church which are uh, extreme. They have some sort of rituals, funny actions of baptism and circumcision and what those ones. Uh, I think that as long as you respect that boundary, I think we can get along. Yeah, but given a choice, I would rather someone who is not quite religious, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next, I want to talk to Jefferson Bosire, who is also an atheist. So Jefferson, you're 24 years old and uh, still in campus. Yeah, I'm still And in campus. Uh, you identify as an atheist. Yeah, so like for me, it happened right after high school. Uh, when I was around 12, I did have my doubts because to me this, the Bible sounded more like a novel than it did a religious text that it's supposed to explain the origin of the universe and everything. So, but then when I got to high school and then I learned that all things that religion seems to give an explanation to, there are better explanations from science and other sources. So that's, that's where I picked up, like I became, I, I identified as an atheist. Like before then, uh, okay. Afterwards, like after I finished high school, that's when I started seriously looking into it. And I, I got help from a few atheist YouTubers who gave me, like, after listening to their videos, I got Kenyan the directions. YouTubers or international atheist YouTubers? Yeah, international atheist YouTubers. So I got the directions from them, like, okay, like they explained some of the things that were lingering. And to them, that made more sense than my pastor, my, the, my father, my, the Catholic priest. Yeah, to me, the, they made more sense. So I identified as an atheist from then on. Okay, so I want to ask, because so far I'm sure you're also wondering, Tanima, you've just shown us a lineup of men. So are there female atheists in Kenya? There are quite a number. I know quite a number. But you know, na uh, naturally, uh, uh, women tend to be more believers than men. If, if you look at the demographics, uh, uh, I, I don't have a, a, a scientific or a social explanation to that, but it's something you can just observe. Uh, probably because men are the breadwinners and they have to be busy on Saturday. They are, they are, someone will have to find out that. Uh, I think that partially contributes, but there are quite a number of uh, active uh, and even more staunch uh, atheist, female atheists than Okay, good to know. So um, I, I, wanna, I wanna throw it to my audience because obviously a lot of people feel some type of way about your views and really that's why we're trying to have this conversation because we are all built differently and we're just trying to understand where you're coming from. And probably if I was to open it up to my audience, who has a question for them? Okay. So Zara is asking, mm. uh, do you have your own, you know, what ideally would be a church for a believer? Is there something for atheists? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the, the very definition of uh, atheism is the opposite of religion. Uh, therefore, to, for, 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 for religion to have church and atheism, which is the opposite of religion, to have a church does not make sense. Uh, because uh, atheism is not just an association, it's just a rejection of an idea. That there could be someone somewhere watching us and taking care of us. Yeah, so, uh, and then church, or almost by definition for me, is a social gathering where people meet. Uh, the way people, or mama will meet Kwachama because they have a common interest. So, uh, yeah, we could meet as atheists because we have common interests. So do you meet as atheists because you have yeah, a common I, belief yeah, or lack of belief? Naturally. Uh, by default, if I'd feel more comfortable in a table of atheism than, than people who are judging me. In the same way, you'd not be comfortable with people who are judging me in one aspect or the other. So yeah, I meet, I meet, I meet we meet with atheists. Yeah. And so in your meetings, is it just a meeting of friends or there you're able to, you know, challenge the existing belief systems, get deeply into the matter? So what happens when you, when you come together? Well, if you get deeper into it, then you're creating another religion. Eh? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so it's just like a hangout. Yeah, so it's just a hangout. Uh, and also, the, the main aim uh, of, of the association is to, because we believe most, there are more atheists than you can imagine in this country. But because of the stigma around it, 
most people are still in the closet. Mm -hmm. So to tell them that you're not alone, uh, that uh, there are other people you can share views with, uh, and uh, also sometimes it's not just to bring a, a, a atheist uh, together. There are also some some religious people who who understand the position as much as they don't agree with the atheism position, they understand the position, and therefore we also try to uh, interact with them and. In that way, we hope to empower the movement. Yeah. Okay, let's take another question. Uh, my name is Alice Mutami. Do you guys pray? <laughs> and do you indicate uh, in your CVs, like, I'm an atheist, kwa, kwa CV zenu? Okay, allow me to respond. Thank you. Uh, for the case of uh, praying, you see, prayers never work at any point. And... Uh, Take it like a, a student is sitting for an a, a exam. He prays, and then when the results come, he fails. What, what was the essence of prayer? Prayer, it could be if the, pray, if the student pass, pa passes exam, then it, is, it, it, it definitely it, it tells her that uh, prayer has worked. But uh, look here. Uh, a student who is studying very hard without prayer will definitely pass the exam. A student who prays and doesn't study hard will definitely fail exam. So why is God not intervening with the one who is praying to respond to that matter? That definitely defines, tells us that prayers never work. Ukitafakari hayo, so remember we still have more to come here. I have Harrison Mumie, who is the president of the AP Society of Kenya, who will be coming on after the break. So don't go too far, we'll be right back. Big Bang simply means nothing from nowhere banged against nothing, and here we are. You know, he doesn't realize he's, as, he's an animal. He's saying I'm an animal, but he is an animal. God uh, gives leeway for certain things to happen, like killings. Then there cannot, be, uh, there cannot be any God. He simply went to the same book cover that he had for there is no God, crossed out the no, and put an A to say there is a God, and I'm overwhelmed by the evidence from design. To real talk now our conversation on today's topic continues where my guests are saying i'm an atheist i don't believe in god so early on we had oma and as well maurice so maurice is still on the stage oma is with me here in the audience area so i'm just going to pick up on a question that had been asked earlier on but before that let me introduce the new guest who is harrison mumia harrison is the president of 